this is your reading for Wednesday, the 18th of June, 2014. I am shuffling the Bone Fire deck. And let's see what's coming up for you today in terms of the tarot cards, what they predict for you, what they forecast, what you'll be working with, and what the major energetic themes will be. So let me just put these cards together and see what's coming up. I hope you've had a wonderful month so far. We're pretty much halfway through it now. And if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, I hope you've been enjoying the, the coming of the summer season. If you're in the Southern Hemisphere, I hope you're um, entering the winter in a kind of happy space. Let's see what's coming up for you on this day by the cards. That is such a gorgeous, oh, I just love the image of that. That is so, that is absolutely gorgeous. The cups, the rainbow, the mount, oh, I just love that. That's beautiful. Okay. Right, the five of swords is the first card that's coming up on this day. And you can see two men kind of battling there. And it really has to do with feeling inadequate and feeling like someone's better than you, challenging you. Uh, making you feel less than and making you feel like you have to re react and you have to assert yourself and you have to prove how good you are and all of that stuff. All of those things are ego. In truth, you're your own special creation. You're a unique child of the universe. You're perfect in every way. You don't have to compete with anybody. I always find it very interesting when I see things um, where people identify themselves as alpha male and alpha female and they're always um, they identify as that I am an alpha man and that's who I am and it's interesting because to me all that means is that um, I connect with my ego all the time and I try to be the best and I have to constantly prove to myself prove myself to other people and that's really the kind of zone that's that's floating around in the air on this morning, on Wednesday the 18th, you've got that tendency to have to kind of prove yourself, to make sure you're worthy. I can confirm to you and I can tell you that you are worthy, you are perfect, and you never have to compete with anybody. So just be aware of that kind of energy floating around. The next card is the Six of Wands. And the Six of Wands is great. It really indicates um, a balance, a harmony, a, a kind of celebration of your creative powers and really getting some social success as a result of your creative powers and your creative endeavors. So what you've been working on and what you've been caring for and what you've been really pouring yourself into, the essence of you, is really recognized and really um, celebrated by other people. And if you really want other people to notice you and to celebrate you, then don't go into fear and say, oh, hello, darling, by the way, I am the most wonderful artist in the world. Please worship at my altar. That puts people off. If you want, I mean, to say the least, if you want people to celebrate you, go in there, present your work for the way it is, let it speak for itself, and then people will see the work and will celebrate that. But if you go in, in with that whole ego attitude, you know, people don't like that. So uh, just be aware of that. Don't come on too strong, is what I'm saying, basically. And then finally, this gorgeous card. I I really, I think I need to blow this up and frame it and put it on my wall. I just think this is the best. I love it. Okay, the Ten of Cups indicates a transition, happy feelings. You can see that via the rainbow there. A really joy and peace emotionally, and really just being on cloud nine, being ecstatic, being super joyous, happy, thrilled to bits. So you start the day off with, you know, those little emotional thought quirks. You overcome those. You let your products, you let your creative self speak for itself. And the feedback you get from other people makes you feel absolutely wonderful. It makes you feel like you're doing the right thing. Your life is completely in sync with your insides, what you're trying to do, what you're trying to achieve. And it couldn't be any better, really. So have a wonderful, wonderful day. If you'd like to get in touch with me to, about a personal reading or anything else, have a look at the website. It's gregoryscott.co.uk. Click on any of the tabs. Uh, the, my bio's on there. The types of readings I do. 
by clicking on the readings tabs you can see um, exactly the, the, the details of the readings I do and you can uh, choose one of those. If you've got any questions for me just send me an email. The address is readings at gregoryscott.co.uk and you can also find me on Facebook which is facebook.com forward slash gregoryscott444. Have a great day and I'll be with you again tomorrow.